Hey everyone and welcome to episode 79 of Unboxing Wednesdays for books arriving in stores on Wednesday, May 2nd, 2012. Rob's already gotten a jump start on us here because we are super busy getting ready for our free comic book day event. More on that in a little bit. Uh, but for now we're going to take a look at what we're receiving this week. I'm very excited about free comic book day this Saturday, but I'm also very excited about all the product coming in this week. There's tons of great stuff. Let's start with some t-shirts. First up is this V for Vendetta t-shirt. People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. Here's a painted Superman logo. Here's a pretty cool Adventure Time shirt. And an Adventure Time Epic Win shirt. New in trade paperbacks, hardcovers, and graphic novels, we have Planet of the Apes, Volume 2. And then new in softcover, we have Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin Must Die. This collects issues 13 to 16 of the Batman and Robin series pre-relaunch. American Vampire Volume 2 now in softcover. A new printing of Neil Gaiman's The Sandman Volume 9. This week we see the first of the new 52 collected editions. First up is Animal Man Volume 1 in softcover. I highly recommend this to anybody out there watching. Jeff Lemire's writing is fantastic. Travel Foreman's art inside is weird but awesome. And new in hardcover we have Jeff Johns and Jim Lee's Justice League Volume 1. This covers issues 1 to 6 of Justice League, the very first story arc. Moving on to the smaller press books, we've got a crossover between The Tick and Invincible. Here's The Boys, Issue 66. IDW's Dorothy of Oz Prequel, Issue 2. G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, Number 178. Witchblade, Red Sonja, Issue 3. Grim Fairy Tales, Myths and Legends, Number 16. Sonic, Number 236. Supreme, Number 264. Ninja Turtles, Number 8, has two covers. A lot of people are talking about this Image comic. It's Epic Kill, issue one of five. Exo Manowar, number one. This is the relaunch of the Valiant Universe. This is the regular cover. I had a chance to read through this today, and I was thoroughly impressed by the story and the art inside. I'm definitely going to be picking up issue two. This is the Exo Manowar pull box variant, which will be available in our store and other stores as well. This is a one in 20 variant for Exo Manowar. There's also a 1 in 50 talking variant cover, which we have as well. Exo Manowar is already sold out at the distributor level, so all that's left is what's on retailer shelves. So if you're interested in picking up that book, you might want to head out ASAP and pick one up. We've got X Factor issue 235. X-Men 28 sees a guest appearance from Spider-Man. The Defenders issue 6. The conclusion of Brian Wood's Wolverine and the X-Men Alpha and Omega with issue 5 of 5. Age of Apocalypse Issue 3, Daredevil Issue 12. There's a new storyline starting up called Exiled, and this is actually a one-shot, but it is a five-part story. The rest of the issues will be appearing in Journey into Mystery and New Mutants. Ultimate Comics Spider-Man number 10, Amazing Spider-Man number 685. Here is the Spider-Man variant. Venom number 17, and here is the Venom variant. Avengers vs. X-Men Issue 3. The response to this series has been pretty uh, spectacular so far. And uh, the issues themselves haven't been that bad either. Um, this is the regular cover. Here is the J. Scott Campbell Avengers Team variant. And here is the J. Scott Campbell X-Men Team variant. I'm guessing that both of these variants are going to be pretty popular on Wednesday. This is the J. Scott Campbell 1 in 25 variant where both Rogue and Miss Marvel are colored in. This is the 1 in 100 variant by Sarah Pacelli. And here is the 1 in 200 black and white cover from Sarah Pacelli. Moving on to DC Comics, we have a third print of Superman issue 1 and a second printing of Justice League issue 6. Green Arrow number 9. Justice League International number 9 features everyone's favorite cancelled comic book character, Omak. Red Lanterns number 9. Here's Swamp Thing number 9. Here is the Swamp Thing 1 in 25 variant. Animal Man number 9, The Sea of Red. We've got our first annual out of the DC New 52 and it's Teen Titans Annual number one which features the storyline of The Culling part one of four. The Culling storyline will go through Teen Titans, Superboy, and Legion Lost so keep an eye out for those books. The second wave of the DC New 52 starts today and here is GI Combat featuring the war that time forgot. Issue one, it's also got an unknown soldier story in it. Similar to what Joss Whedon did with Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the creators of Smallville have decided to continue the series on in comic form. So we have issue 1 of season 11 of Smallville. Action Comics number 9 takes a look at the Superman of Earth 23. 
Here's the Action Comics number 9 combo pack. And here is the variant cover. Part of the second wave, we've got Dial H issue 1. Here is the Dial H variant. And also part of the new wave, we've got Earth 2 issue 1. I read this comic before we shot this video today, and it is amazing. I thought it was great. I think anybody who's a fan of DC superheroes should definitely pick it up. And here is the Earth 2 variant. The comic starts off with a huge epic battle between Apocalypse and, and Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. And uh, let's just say you won't believe where the battle goes from there. Huntress and Power Girl World's Finest. This book does tie into the events of Earth 2 issue 1. Here's the variant cover for that book. The Night of the Owls continues in Detective Comics issue 9. Here's the variant cover. And finally, today we have Batwing issue 9, which features Marcus Toe's debut on the series. And we're really excited about this comic because it comes out just a couple days before Marcus Toe's appearance at our store for free comic book day. So if you pick up this book this weekend at Stadium Comics, you have the chance to get it signed by the artist who drew the pages on the inside. Last week we wanted you to share with us what you were most looking forward to about Free Comic Book Day or any Free Comic Book Day memories that you had being that the event is just coming up in a couple of days. A lot of people answered that they've never been to a Free Comic Book Day and this is going to be their first one. To those people I say have lots of fun. It's going to be a blast. The winner we chose from last week's answers was Legendary Collectiful. Interesting name. And he says, uh, I remember when I was five, it was my first free comic book day. My shop hired a guy to dress up as Deadpool. The night before, my dad read a Deadpool comic, and I asked to read it, but my dad said that Deadpool was a dirty boy. So when I saw him at my comic shop, I told him he was a dirty boy and ran away screaming, thinking he would cut off my head. Well, I hope now you're at the age where you can read Deadpool, because it is an awesome comic, and he does get a little dirty sometimes. Now this week... We want to tie it into the release of Batwing number 9. We want to kind of take advantage of the fact that Marcus Toe is going to be in our store on Saturday. And we would like to offer up to our YouTube viewers a signed copy of Batwing number 9. What we want you to tell us is, come up with your most creative story about how you're going to get to Stadium Comics on Saturday, May 5th, Free Comic Book Day. The most entertaining story will win the prize of the signed Marcus Toe book. We look forward to seeing your answers. Speaking of Free Comic Book Day, I'd like to invite all of you to go to our website stadiumcomics.com to view a very informative post we've made called Everything You Need to Know About Free Comic Book Day on May 5th. Uh, in that post you'll see all the guests that will be attending, all the specials that we're offering, uh, the huge sale that's going to be going on, and um, some amazing, amazing sketch covers done by Marcus Toe, Vince Sunico, Adam Gorham, and Paris Aline just for the event. And hopefully we get to see lots of you here in the store on Free Comic Book Day. That is it for this week. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to watch the other shows on our channel. We've got Ricky and the gang from Flavorful Sauce doing their reviews each and every week. Ricky and I do a show called Previews Reviews that takes a look at comics and merchandise coming in into stores in two months' time. So you definitely want to check that out. We should have a segment on comics coming in July 2012 very shortly. And as always, you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your comics. Enjoy your free comics. Get out and support your local shop on uh, Saturday, May 5th. And we'll see you all next time for episode 80 of Unboxing Wednesdays.